Hello, my name is Maciej, and together with Przemek, we will tell you a presentation about opening Intel Server firmware based on OpenBX BMC example. So, uh, the agenda. First, I will tell you a little bit about OpenBMC and OpenBMC history and overview. Uh, then I will tell you what features are supported in OpenBMC uh, and the architecture of high-level architecture of OpenBMC. Then we will go to Intel-specific features that are, that are built on top of uh, OpenBMC. Uh, then I will tell you how to get involved into the community and uh, Przemek will give you some live demo. So, uh, it's 1998 and uh, the new, something new arrived in the data center world. It's called it's called the Baseboard manage Management Controller, uh, BMC. And it's a separate chip located on the server, server board uh, that has multiple physical connections to uh, multiple uh, platform components. Uh, it also has a dedicated firmware running on it. And from the interesting part is that it had a dedicated NIC card for remote management. Uh, the first version had some basic features like IPMI support, event logging, power control, system watchdog timer, and also so OEM specific features that each vendor delivered. Uh, okay, so it made the life of uh, data center administrator a little bit easier because Earlier, he had to every time he had to physically go to the server and do something with it, and now he can just uh, log on to BMC Web UI and uh, and perform the same task there. But the problem was that each vendor delivered their own firmware, so uh, not so f in some cases still he had to go to the uh, to the server room uh, to the server to do something uh, that because this vendor was not supporting it earlier <sighs> okay so in 2015 uh, open bmc arrived uh, the idea was to create an open source uh, bmc firmware uh, stack uh, i can, I was not there, but I can imagine there were two reasons to create it. First of all, customers were not really happy that there's a, a, a chip that is running uh, some black box firmware on it. And <laughs> because it, uh, it has uh, great power over the platform and it had dedicated network interface cards that not in all cases was, let's say, behind the firewall. So sometimes it was available externally. It was very tempting for the hackers to attack the BMC. So basically customers wanted to know what's going on on, on their BMCs. And the second thing was that, for, imagine that there are two vendors of BMC firmware, both of them are deliver, delivering the same features, the same basic features, and some additional features. But the basic features were pretty much the same. So vendor A and vendor B were delivering our PMI support, power management, fan speed control, and so and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So they, I, I can imagine that vendor A thought that, hmm, it's maybe it's a little bit stupid to do, do this when the uh, uh, competing company is also doing it. So they went to them and say, hey, we will do IPMI, you will do uh, power management and fan control, for example. So uh, the reasons were quite obvious. And, for, and in 2015, two companies, IBM and Facebook, uh, decided to start the projects. Both of them were named OpenBMC. Uh, the idea was the same, but the implementation was different. So uh, uh, I don't know exactly what happened later, but finally the IBM initiative uh, were able to gather more uh, companies jo uh, to join to join it. Uh, so between 2015 and 2018, there was a rapid growth of the community, and uh, as a result, in 2018, OpenBMC became a Linux Foundation uh, project, uh, part of Linux Foundation project. Uh, and in 2020, we have like 30 companies uh, contributing to uh, to this so to the source code, uh, something around 140 repositories and a lot of email subscribers to the mailing list. Uh, okay, if it goes to feature support, uh, we have uh, data center administrator can use uh, web UI but they can also use Redfish interface. So Redfish was something new. It was created in 2014. And the idea was to standardize the interface between each vendor. 
So uh, Redfish uh, created a protocol, uh, I mean the protocol, the interface that was uh, based on HTTP uh, and J JSON and OData. Uh, and they were releasing something called schemas. So schemas uh, was, they were saying that, for example, if you want to, uh, you want to implement power management and Redfish interface to it, you have to do it in this specific, this specific and only way. So it was forcing standardization between each vendor. Uh, so then we have uh, host management, uh, IPMI 2.0 compliance, sensor scanning and monitoring. Uh, we can update BMC and BIOS firmware remotely. Uh, we have for better management, we have SSH uh, serial over LAN and remote KVM. We have user management with multiple roles, certificates, and LDAP support. And we have also virtual media that we can you know, install, for example, operating new operating system remotely on, on the host. So this is just a top of the iceberg. So there's a lot of other features that are not listed here. And every day we, we are working to add new features to, to it. Uh, if it goes to the architecture, so we have our uh, BMC chip. Uh, and all its physical connections. Then there's a uh, U-boot that it's loading Linux kernel and drivers. And at the top, we have the application layer. Uh, so each feature is uh, implemented as a service or multiples, uh, multiple services that are communicating with each other uh, uh, over DBus. Uh, all of the services are managed by system D. And uh, the whole distribution is build, built using Yocto. So now uh, data center admins can still use the web UI for their day-to-day task on the single server, but if they would like to you know, uh, do like, tasks on multiple servers, they will probably do some scripting around Redfish because it's a standardized interface. Okay, uh, so companies are still adding some additional features on top of OpenBMC. So Intel is trying to uh, build some features that will enable and enhance usage of its hardware. So uh, what we have, it's uh, the first one is out of band CPU crash dump collection. So in case of critical platform error, uh, it will auto automatically gather crash dump, crash dump data from the CPU, decode it and uh, publish it over Redfish for the user. Uh, it will help to um, debug uh, CPU problems, but also PCI Express devices and uh, memory problems. Uh, next thing is BMC Autonomous SPS Dump. So this will basically, uh, in also in case of critical platform error, will uh, gather the debug data from uh, management engines uh, firmware and will uh, publish it over Redfish also. Uh, and the third thing is out of band platform telemetry streaming. So what we plan to do is to uh, gather all possible telemetry that's available for BMC uh, and stream it to third party uh, uh, monitoring and analytics tools. So hopefully it will give some more information about what was happening with the platform and why, is, why did it fail. So if you like the idea and you want to join the uh, community, you have here all the links. Uh, all the code, uh, defects, and documentation is stored on GitHub. For communication, we are using mailing list, uh, IRC channel, and Riot channel. And from my part, this will be all. So if you're interested, if you would like your code run on big percentage of the servers soon, then this is the way to do it. And now, Przemek will show you a demo. Okay, so uh, let's start the demo part. Uh, I will show you how to add a Redfish schema. So, uh, 
It is, is it difficult? Uh, yes, but only at the beginning. <laughs> So uh, at the beginning, you, you, you have to get familiarized with some new concept, yes? So, so uh, it's a quite new, uh, quite a, a big amount of information that you, you have to, to gather at, at the beginning. So, uh, so the first time is not so easy, but uh, the next time and subsequent ones are really, really easy and uh, just a copy-paste thing. Okay, uh, for this demo, I created a simple OEM schema fortune generator. Uh, it, uh, I, I, I made a service backend which serves uh, fortunes or adages uh, like the tool we know, Fortune. Uh, we, I will gen generate two kinds of uh, fortunes uh, related to computers and some questions. Uh, OEM schema uh, will show those. Uh, fortunes and uh, there is also an action which makes to the the next uh, fortune is shown so uh, okay so so the, uh, theory first of all uh, we have to uh, of course read the documentation redfish is uh, well documented uh, on the DMTF page there is a uh, Redfish, uh, uh, Redfish page. So take a look at the also take a look at on our data standard. Uh, it's a base of this. It's uh, the language of description of schema. <coughs> uh, all schemas are written in CSDL and JSON. Uh, to to start, uh, take a look at the structure. Uh, how the red, whole Redfish uh, looks like, what, uh, w what are the links and where. Uh, in order to do this uh, effectively, use mockups prepared for, for that reason. Uh, Redfish uses REST API, so also get, get uh, some knowledge on the REST. Uh, uh, implementation of Redfish uh, in OpenBMC uh, is made in modern C++. Uh, Dbus uses SDBus Plus library. Uh, all is asynchronous, so uh, we use Boost Azure uh, for most work. Uh, hardware for, for BMC is mostly based on processors with one core, so please stick to one thread model. If you want to uh, make some uh, threading, use coroutines. C++ coroutines or boost coroutines. Uh, okay, so uh, let's do the backend. Uh, backend is based on Dbus. Uh, in interface between Redfish and uh, backend is via Dbus. Dbus is the main uh, IPC in OpenBMC. So uh, it, it's good to, to make the, the backend uh, API coherent with uh, Redfish schema, so uh, create a service uh, in the XYZ, XYZ OpenBMC project namespace, adding uh, a service name at the end, of course. Uh, it's good to, to expose object manager inter interface uh, to get easier access to, to members, uh, if there are more of, <coughs> of them. Uh, after after the, the, the backend is uh, created, uh, of course, uh, it's good to create the .service file and uh, allow systemd to start and, and manage the, the, the service uh, by systemd. So, uh, let's move to the uh, schema part and implementation of the schema. So. Uh, if anybody wants to uh, make us own its own schema, uh, it's good to uh, start a discussion on Redfish forum uh, because maybe somebody works on the same uh, on the same feature and uh, as Redfish should be as generic as possible, <coughs> uh, so you can join 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 efforts and uh, make the the feature together. Uh, 
uh, after the design is completed, uh, you have to write the, the, the description of schema. Uh, you can use uh, documentation, uh, other schemas, and there are, there are a lot of, of them. Uh, there are also, after the, the, the XML part is completed, uh, you have to also generate JSON version. Uh, and the files <coughs> uh, should be put in the proper location, like the below. Bullet. Okay, uh, and implementation itself, uh, we have Redfish core directory in BMC web. Uh, BMC web serves Redfish. Uh, we name the file using snake case, uh, like the uh, and, and using the name of the schema. Uh, every each type of uh, Redfish node uh, derives from the node class. Uh, we have collection, which lists uh, our, our all our items uh, in our in our uh, of our type uh, item, uh, which shows the properties of of uh, given item. Uh, and uh, and um, the last uh, actions uh, actions are used to for them for example I don't know start host or reset host uh, using the Redfish a API. So hmm, uh, once we have the code, uh, we have to register it, include our file, and uh, and place unique pointer on, in the node list. So and that's more or less. Everything we got a lot of helpers to to, to simplify implementation, uh, message error classes uh, to to get feed, to, to to show feedback, JSON utilities to to take uh, parameters fr from the rest, uh, uh, lots of boilerplate code. Uh, I said it's uh, more or less copy paste programming, just few lines of uh, implementation, generic implementation, and after. At the at the end, uh, it's important to to make compatibility check whether the our schema complies with standard. Okay, so let's start a code walkthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. This is how the description of the uh, schema looks like. Uh, we have uh, our fortune uh, property. Uh, there is an action, and, uh, and th that's it for, for now. Uh, here we have as uh, yes, it's uh, it's our backend. So. Uh, the backend looks like. Sorry. Okay, so uh, at, at the bottom, at the bottom there is a SD bus initialization. I'll make it bigger. Okay. Uh, as the Dbus, uh, Dbus initialization, we create a project uh, object uh, and using as your run. Uh, once the object, when, when we do the run, the object is uh, is created. Oh, oh. Uh, here we register the, the service in the Dbus. Uh, we add some interfaces. Let's see. A little below. Okay, uh, fortune property uh, and the generate method. Uh, it's the same as the schema schema description. So let's move to the implementation of Redfish schema. So first collection. Uh, here you have the path in the in the tree. Uh, maybe. Do this bigger. Okay, uh, here we set the permissions for the uh, for, for the the item. Uh, there is a do get implementation. As I said, it's REST, so we have uh, get method. Uh, we just create some, some some data for the schema with, which are uh, obligatory, uh, and then then we put some information inside. 
so here we, we take the um, the items from the from the dbus it's a, it's a, it's all it's all in dbus uh, uh, dbus callbacks here we put the information and, and that that's that's it here is the item uh, it's more it looks like uh, the the collection but the information is quite different because you have uh, the data and uh, here is the action plus and somewhere somewhere here we take the information from the from the schema and put it oh yes it's here put it inside uh, inside the, 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 the result JSON okay and the last one uh, action node it looks almost the same but here we have post method uh, actions uses post, uh, rest post, so so implementation we implement post here. Okay, so let's move on to the web browser. Uh, here is the root node. Maybe this one. Uh, the root node. Uh, there is a place when I put the uh, OEM our OEM schema. So let's take a look at system. It's, it's, it's a collection of systems, only one systems available, of course. Uh, to oh, here is our fortune generator. Let's click on it. Oh. Yes, and we have fortune questions, fortune, fortune computer. Let's click that one. Okay. There is a fortune, and right now uh, let's generate the post method. The post uh, here is uh, the result 204, no content, it's okay. And after we relo reload it, yes, there is another fortune. So, and that's all. That's all. Any questions to both parts? Are there, is there any plans to support the secure config, uh, configuration and enrollment? Uh, uh, the question is <laughs> whether the, there is a uh, plan to, to make a security Secure boot. <laughs> secure boot, yes, secu secure boot implemented in OpenBMC. Uh, that's not uh, exactly the question I can answer, because uh, I just uh, uh, make some, you know, other areas of the, of the OpenBMC. So, so not exactly but can answer the question. It, can, it cannot be done, can it? Uh, no idea. <laughs> This. Uh, I'm concerned with the mailing list. Yeah. No, I don't think there are any plans right now to do it. Uh, but I know there are, there are plans to add some additional security features to it. I'm not sure if the secure boot will be also involved, let's say. operation and um, process computing so uh, basically we have a whole engine underneath it doesn't uh, matter what you measure upstairs in the operating system the BMC can just be pulled the rug under your operation because you're very powerful at this level so for years the <laughs> mentions please at least signal from the BMC that you're changing the configuration so we know this up there in the measurement modules of the operating system is there any in initiative? Um, uh, this has been now we've written under an open license. So has someone raised the issue? And uh, are there any interfaces in order to get this resolved? As far as I know, there are already plans. Uh, 
I'm not sure this will as answer your question, but there are plans to uh, make uh, BMC as a route of trust of the platform. So basically, BMC will be the, uh, let's say, component that will, uh, let's say, check all the, all the firmware on the platform. Yeah. The question was, uh, the question was? Is there an integration plan or existing between BMC on the one hand and trusted computing, ROM never stuff for operating system on the other hand? That's the question. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, it's a hard question to, to repeat. <laughs> So yeah, BM, Open BMC is uh, communicating with. Uh, uh, if is uh, the question was is uh, op uh, Open BMC is supporting Intel uh, SPS addition. So uh, Open BMC is communicating with uh, Intel SPS currently. So yeah, this is the let's say only point of contact the IPMI interface. Thank you. Thank you.